Throughout Africa, there is amazing progress being made by Africans to end extreme poverty and preventable disease. Many are unsung heroes who are working tirelessly with limited resources to transform lives. One celebrates the progress made and looks forward to solutions for the challenges still ahead. The One Africa Award established in 2008 recognizes success in Africa by Africans working to reach the Millennium Development Goals. Innovation and creative thinking for the most effective approaches to development issues. Strong results and proven ability to impact and strengthen communities. Accountability that ensures organizations are held responsible for delivering services to the communities they serve. The 2008 recipient reflected all of these strengths and skills. Development Communications organizes boot camps for journalists in Nigeria to improve their ability to report on maternal and child health issues. In 2009, 170 organizations were nominated for the One Africa Award. Among the inspiring work being done, a few stood out from the rest. The four finalists for this year's award are the White Ribbon Alliance Tanzania, a grassroots movement that builds alliances to influence policy in maternal and child health. Founded by Health Workers for Health Workers, Uganda's Action Group for Health, Human Rights and HIV AIDS is dedicated to improving health care through influencing policy. MIKO, a consortium of three organizations working in Tanzania, focuses on the rural poor and access to markets for farm products. The slums that Sidderic operates in were spared during the post-election violence, in large part because residents had, through Sidderic, an outlet for getting their voices heard. When we started Sidderic, we didn't have a single cent. We didn't start a project with money first. We started a project that we knew we first of all wanted to identify with the initial idea and we wanted to create some passion out of the people who are to be involved in it. It's an idea that I crafted together with some young people working, uh, living in the informal settlements and uh, we wanted to see whether we can start community communication and how we can turn around community communication as a way of people, you know, talking to each other and about themselves to the external world. Information plays a key role in our day-to-day -day living. Sidarek was set out to start uh, creating channels of communication within the slums and trying to see how we can package and repackage our information and relate that to the national agenda, national information agenda, in terms of what goes on in our economic uh, scenarios, what goes on in our political uh, arena, and how can we link it up with the type of political information we are getting at the community level. 